So what now is V0 squared? Well, that's easy to calculate now. V0 squared equals 3.07 times 2 times 9.8. Oh, my calculator was off. That's a detail. Um, 3.07 times 2 times 9.8. That is 60.17. I'd like you to check that. 60.17 plus an error of 5%. That is an error of 3. So you might as well make this 60.2. Would you please confirm that, that I didn't make a mistake? 3.07 is H max. I, I multiply it by 2, by 9.9. The 60.2 is a 5% error, and a 5% error is indeed 3. This is meters squared per second squared. I don't care what V0 is, because if we're going to measure OS, all I need is V0 squared. And if you at home are going to calculate what the height will be at the various angles, all you need is V0 squared. So I'm not even interested in V0. I'll just stick to V0 squared, and V0 squared will have exactly the same uncertainty. It will have an uncertainty of 5%, because it comes immediately from H. So you're not going to change that. Okay, so so much for the uncertainty in V0 squared. Now I'm going to set the angle at 45 degrees. But how accurately can I do that? I don't think I can do that any better than one degree. I'll try to do the best I can, but I can't really guarantee you that I'm accurate to one degree. So now comes the question, what happens with the sign of to alpha, because we're going to measure OS. What happens with the sine of 2 alpha? The sine of 90 degrees is 1.0000. But what would be the sine of 88 degrees? That is the value that I cannot exclude if I'm off by one degree. And that value is 0.9994. That is so close to 1 that it is only off by 0.6%. 0.06%. And that is so low compared to 5%, forget it. Forget the error in alpha. We can completely forget it. There's a reason for that. When alpha is 45 degrees, then 2 alpha is 90 degrees. And the sine curve goes like this at 90 degrees. It's almost flat here. So even if you're off in angle by a little bit, you're still very close to one. That's the reason. So all we have to worry about is the uncertainty in V0 squared. And so now comes my big prediction. I'm going to make a prediction now. For 45 degrees, with OS equals V0 squared, we have that, that is 60.2. And we have the sine of 2 alpha is 1, and we divide by 9.8. That is 6.14 meters with an uncertainty of 5%, right? Because that's the uncertainty in V0 squared. And so that is an uncertainty of 30 centimeters, actually 31 centimeters. This is my prediction for an angle of 45 degrees. This will only hold if there is no air drag or if the air drag is negligible. And of course, equally important, that that spring gun, when the ball comes out, that the, the velocity square is indeed within the range that we have assumed and that it doesn't have bad days and good days. There's no way I, that I can check that anymore. All right? So we're going to mark the 0.614. This is one meter, two meter, three meter, four meter, five meter, six meter, 6.14. 1.4, 14 centimeters, 
boy, God, it's all the way here. And then I allow for an error of about 30 centimeters. Did I do that right? That is correct. 45 degrees, a 30 centimeter uncertainty. That is all the way up to here. And then the next one, roughly 30 centimeters. So that's where, if our calculations make sense, that's where the ball should hit. Now, I would like you to come here, if you don't mind, and stand here. And the moment that that ball hits, pew, point your finger at it. Don't do it before I shoot, but just after I shoot. And then we'll hope for the best. Yeah? OK. You're not nervous, right? Where, what happened with that ball that I had? Did I put it in my pocket? Oh, it's here. Thank you. So I'm going to set it now to the best I can at 45 degrees. And so I can never shoot it any further. This is the, the angle, is the maximum possible distance. You ready? You are? Don't look at me, look there. It goes fast. Three, two, one, zero. Put your finger there. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that amazing? Do you see now how important it is that you have uncertainties in your measurement? In high school, you would have said it has to hit there. Boom, man. It has an error. <laughs> and the error has to be taken into account. Where's my ball, by the way? Boy. Oh, I have it. Oh, here. Ah. OK. You can sit down now. You did great. It worked just because you were there. So now, I wonder what happens if I fire the ball at, at 30 degrees. Well, if I do it at 30 degrees, then my v0 square is the same. I don't have to worry about that, I hope. However, I cannot be certain about the angle to better than one degree. So you will say, well, come on now. Don't be decadent. I mean, here we had an error of only 0.06% because of this one degree, possible one degree offset. Let's just ignore this error, too. Mm, that is risky. That is risky now. Because the sine of 60 degrees, that's what you deal with, the sine of 60 degrees I think it's 0.866. That's right. But the sine of 58 degrees, which is possible if I'm one degree under, is 0.848. And that is substantially lower. And therefore, I must allow for an uncertainty in the sine of the angle by roughly, oh, maybe something like 17 or 18 units. Point oh, what is this difference? Point oh, one, eight. 